wow the steam from my coffee is currently singeing you all sorry about that um let me just put that not directly under the camera just hold it by the handle because that is actually so hot i swear at the beginning of every single vlog i burn myself on coffee why good morning my loves welcome back to another vlog i hope you're all safe and well i am feeling very excited to have you guys with me today i feel like i have you all in my pocket when i vlog like a little poly pocket i actually had a dream about those last night that's why it's fresh in my mind who had a poly pocket they were so cute i feel sorry for like the kids <laughs> just starting this vlog off on a bit of a deep note i feel sorry for the society of today <laughs> No, but genuinely, I feel sorry for the kids of today because I feel like their toys were just not like ours in the 90s or 80s or 70s or 60s. They're just not the same. But then maybe they're not the same because I'm not a kid anymore. I don't actually know what toys kids have. Anyway, what the hell am I even talking about? Let's start again. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Cozy Day at Home vlog. So, my favourite little guy just came to the door, which was, of course, Mr. Postman. He is just my little beacon of joy right now. Every time I have a knock on my door, I just... It's a surprise every time because I've been ordering that much. I genuinely forget what I've ordered, especially when it's an Amazon parcel. So, I ordered some new kind of like skincare beauty products from Feel Unique which I'm so excited about. So, as I've been ordering far too much online recently, I've actually started shopping through Top Cashback. If you guys haven't actually heard of Top Cashback before, basically it's a website and an app that gives you money back when you shop online. There are over 5,000 retailers to choose from. There are fashion places like Pretty Little Thing, Boohoo, ASOS, there are beauty places like Feel Unique and Cult Beauty. There are also electrical brands, homeware brands, a bit of everything. There are so many retailers to choose from. So all you need to do is head over to Top Cashback. I will leave a direct link in the description box as always. So once you click the link, you need to sign up. It is completely free, super quick and easy. And then you can start earning money online. I just think it's a win-win situation. If you're gonna treat yourself anyway, why not shop through Top Cashback because you can earn money whilst you treat yourself? Like it's just a little bit mind blowing when you actually think about it. Once you've made a login to Top Cashback, you can browse the monthly deals section. In this section, you'll find where you receive the most cashback or you can browse the retailers. Once you've chosen where you'd like to shop, all you have to do is click on the retailer and you'll be redirected to their website. All you need to do is then shop like normal, treat yourself and Top Cashback will take care of the rest and you can start earning money online. So Top Cashback are also offering an amazing deal for new members, which is a £15 sign up bonus, which means when you spend £15 at any Top Cashback retailer, you'll actually receive £15 back. So like I said, I will leave a direct link to Top Cashback in the description box below. I just think it's a really handy thing to use, especially if you're kind of doing more online shopping like me at the moment. It's just such an amazing way to make money whilst you spend money. So, a little feel unique haul coming right your way. So, let me put this somewhere. So, first things first, I picked up the Glam Glow Super Mud face mask. Now, I first got this a little mini one in a PR package and I absolutely adored it but this is quite expensive and I kind of just thought I don't really want to spend that amount of money. You know when you keep thinking about something and you just want it so much so I bit the bullet and I bought it. So it was £44 but I can't explain it's so nice it reminds me of the body shop Himalayan charcoal mask but the only thing I don't like about that mask is it's so messy um, and I'm kind of put off by it because it does just make such a mess whereas this one it's a lot smoother it comes off a lot nicer and it honestly just makes my skin look amazing next I picked up a new cleansing balm from Elemis. I'm really out of my rose one and I know this sounds pathetic but I really just can't live without it. It's cloth with it as well. These are really really nice. So I'm super happy about that. Then I also picked up 
just this little Glam Glow bubble sheet face mask. I think I saw someone using this on Instagram the other day. And I thought, I really want to try that. And then next, I picked up some Bondi Sands Gradual Tanning Milk. Because I've been loving the ultra dark um, aero tan, I just thought this would be really, really nice. Um, I'm yet to use this. So what I'll probably do is try this out tonight after I've had a shower and let you guys know what it's like. But I don't know. I just wanted to try a new gradual moisturiser. Whenever I do my fake tan... Say you do it in the evening and then the next morning you wash it off. I always apply a gradual tanner. Um, just because I think it makes it glow a little bit more. Obviously adds a little bit more colour. And I also find it keeps it on so much longer. The one I usually use is actually this one. The cocoa butter one. This is a really lovely gradual tanner. And I also picked up the St. Moritz Tan in a Can. Now, you guys might remember I went away to Croatia with St. Moritz last year. And I remember we were one of the first people to try this out and it was in just like a clear can and I tried it and it was honestly amazing. It gives you the most airbrush tan um, and this one is actually clear as well. So, oh gosh, when you spray it, it doesn't come out as a colour so you're less likely to get it everywhere. Um, this is just really nice, I find, for a face mist. Or to kind of spray on areas that you want to be a little bit darker, like your chest maybe, or your legs. So I'd pick one of these up. I think this was about £11, so really, really affordable. So next, I picked up this NARS Tinted Moisturiser. I have been looking for a really nice, like, BB cream for ages now. You know one of those days you don't want to wear makeup, but your skin is looking a little bit, I don't know, patchy, or it just doesn't look its best? I have been after a really nice, kind of like just daytime tinted moisturiser. So I'm going to try this one out today so we can see what it's like. Then I also picked up a new 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. I use this all the time to kind of give my eyebrows a little bit of a fluffy look. And this is the best one I've ever used. Then, last but definitely not least, I picked myself up a new lip balm. And this is the Strawberry Lano Lips one. Best lip balm ever. If you have at all dry lips, this will just soothe them straight away. Okay, that is everything I got from Feel Unique. I'm actually going to try this out now, um, along with this. And do I want eyelashes on today? Yeah, why not? I'll put eyelashes on today as well. So I'm just going to clip my hair out the way. I still get lots of questions about these little clips. These are just from Amazon. They are brilliant if you kind of do your hair before your makeup. So... First things first, I am going to apply a little bit of my new favourite eye cream. You guys would have seen this in my Boots haul. Um, lots of you actually recommended this when I asked you guys for a good eye cream. It's amazing, I can confirm. My eyes are super puffy the past few days. I don't know if it's because, I don't know, of the hay fever. I feel like hay fever season has been really bad this year. Um, I've had quite a few days where I've just been so sneezy. So I don't know if it's the hay fever, but my eyes have just been feeling so itchy and puffy. This eye cream really does just instantly brighten your eyes. It makes you feel more awake. And to me, it kind of feels like a bit of a concealer, even though it has no concealer in it. I don't know, it makes my eyes just feel like I've got a little bit of something there, which is really nice. I am also, I know this is a tinted moisturiser, but my skin does feel like really tight today. Um, so I am just going to use a little bit of the Elemis Pro Collagen Moisturiser just underneath the tinted moisturiser because I don't know how pigmented it is and I don't really want too much of it on. Really excited to try this. I've heard very good things. Now, I had to get a slightly darker shade because they were sold out on a lot of the shades. So the shade I got was Malaga and it says medium to dark one. Um, and this is the Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser. I don't mind if it's a little bit too dark because I do tend to wear fake tan 99.9% .9 of my life. So it doesn't really matter too much if it is a little bit dark. Okay, that looks very dark. Um, but once it's been blended... Okay, I'm going to add a little bit to my forehead as well. I don't know why I missed that out. It's looking quite orange at the moment. Um, but it does match my neck, which is always a great great start isn't it but i do find with some like foundations or tinted moisturizers sometimes they can kind of change color once they've been on your face for a few minutes 
so we will see what this is like so i actually think that's quite a nice color because i've already got fake tan on it is quite a good match it's a slight bit too dark um but i mean if i'm wearing fake tan that's fine so next i'm going to use a little bit of the benefit 24 hour brow setter just to kind of fluff my eyebrows up a little bit i'm so glad that i've got more of this i've just i felt so sad since it ran out because i've not been able to do my eyebrows the same you know when you just have a product that you love and it runs out i don't know and you just don't look the same actually i am gonna put a little bit of lipstick on um just because i feel like my face looks quite tanned and my lips need a little bit of color so i'm gonna use the doll beauty lipstick in shade double baked this is one of my favorite nude lipsticks at the moment really really nice color and then i'm gonna put a little bit of the lano lips lip seal over the top just to keep them nice and moisturized today so i've just popped some mascara on before i put the eyelashes on i always 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 apply mascara before eyelashes otherwise they just don't look right amy sent me her new range of lashes yesterday and they are incredible so there are four different types of lashes they have just launched so i will leave a direct link to these below but oh my god they are I'm gonna say some of the most stunning lashes that I've ever kind of had the privilege to own. I know that sounds really cringy, but I am so proud of Amy. Like, honestly, I have seen how hard she's worked to create this brand and it's just really amazing to see one of your friends achieve really huge things and then to be able to hold it in your hand. I don't know, it's a really surreal feeling. Like, you see pictures of it and stuff like that, but to actually hold it, I don't know i'm just really proud of you amy so there are four different types of lashes packaging is incredible like they come in these really sturdy little boxes like they're not the flimsy packaging so the first set is the lottie lash which are like this i might actually wear these ones today these are quite natural ones they're all super wispy which is what i love about this collection i find it really hard to find lashes that are just I don't know I'm very very picky I don't like any that have like a really harsh band because I find they lift up but these lashes are so like soft they just feel like really amazing quality these are the Lola lashes these are a lot more dramatic these would be perfect for like a really full glam look I love how these are kind of all different lengths they almost remind me of like really extravagant individual lashes I'm gonna go ahead and say these ones are my favorite um just because I love how wispy they are. I love that they're almost in like little individual bits. My vocabulary is terrible. <laughs> like when I try and describe things, I'm just terrible. But I know you guys get me. I know you guys know what I mean. Um, but yeah, these are my favorites. I feel like they're just super wispy and natural looking, but they also have volume and length and they just look absolutely gorgeous. And then last but definitely not least, we have the Lily Lashes. These are probably the most natural out of the collection. Um, as you can see, these would be perfect for daytime. But again, still super wispy. Okay, now it's time to choose which ones to try out. I'm dying to try out the Lola ones. I might do like a really dramatic makeup look one day to go to Morrison's and wear my Lola lashes. Um, I think today... Oh, I don't know. I want to wear some kind of natural ones because I've obviously gone for like a no makeup makeup. No makeup, makeup? That makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, I am gonna try the Lily Lashes. Lily Lashes. I've literally just messaged Amy and said, oh my God, the Lily Lash is insane. Like, I am in love with these so much. Wow. Thank you so much, Amy, for introducing me to my new favorite lashes. These are incredible. So, plan for the rest of the day is I am going to put away all my new skincare bits. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you wouldn't have seen my new colour coordinated skin cabinet. Yes, I was a bit bored over the weekend and I actually colour coordinated my skincare cupboard. And then I actually have a Zoom meeting in about an hour um, to discuss secret project which I'm really, really excited for. Everything is starting to really come together so feeling really excited and happy about that make some breakfast and then have my zoom call and then i need to go to morrison's and do the weekly food shop so i'm going to take you guys with me and 
yeah. So, introducing you to the cupboard of dreams. This is my little slice of heaven just here. I am so happy every time I open this. I just feel like because everything's colour coordinated, it's just so satisfying to look at. Starting at the top, we've kind of got whites, blacks, silvers, kind of very, very neutral colours. Um, I've popped my new little face mask in here as well. And then moving on to yellow and orange. And then we go down to blue. Oh, actually, I forgot to show you guys this earlier. I've actually ordered a big one of these, which should be here either today or tomorrow. But if you haven't used this, I got a little mini. I think it was in my glossy box Easter egg. And I also saw Lydia Elise Millen using this. Amazing. It smells incredible. It just smells like summer. And it's basically a tanning mist for your face, but it's completely clear. Usually in the daytime, I just spritz this over my face. And then within a few hours, I've got like a lovely bronzy glow. It's so nice. Then moving on to greens. Oh my god, this is so satisfying. And then we go down to purple. So if you're having a no makeup day but you want to have super glowy skin, this is also incredible. This is the Skin Defense um, Face Mist from The Body Shop. Sophie's mum actually got me this for Christmas and it's so, so nice. It kind of looks like you've got highlighter all over your face. Like, it's so glowy. Then, moving on to, I feel like, my biggest section which is the pink section. If you're looking for a cheaper alternative to the um, cleansing balm, this is so nice. I was so shocked when I used it because it was only four pounds. So there we have my little skincare cupboard of dreams. I feel like I've dreamt of owning one of these. I think I saw one on Pinterest once. And ever since I saw it, I was like, I just need all the skincare. So another little addition to the bathroom. I actually got this bathroom unit from Amazon. Um, just because I like to keep this bathroom quite minimal because it's very, very small. Um, this is my ensuite in the bedroom. But I kind of don't really like to have products out. So every time they're dry, I put them in here and it just, I don't know, it satisfies my minimalist needs. Um, I'm not too sure I want to keep this on here. I got this idea from Polly Marchant's story and it's basically one of those like spinning spice racks. So I thought that was a really cute little idea for perfumes. So I've put all of my perfumes on here. I'm unsure if I'm going to keep it in here just because I don't know if the labels are going to go funny because of Obviously, there's a shower there, so I feel like when I have a shower, the labels might go a little bit funny. And then, another little addition, also from Amazon, in here. I actually bought one of these spinning, spinning makeup stands. Um, I also saw this on Polly's story. But, these are actually really, really affordable. I think this was like £25. Okay, so I'm about to show you my breakfast, but I am just kind of distracted by the size. Sorry, but that is ridiculous. Like, look at it compared to my hand. Wow. Anyway, for my breakfast today, I am going to have some of the low sugar granola. This is from Aldi. It's really, really nice. What I like to have is some people like to have granola with milk. I prefer to have it with um, yogurt and fruit. I find it lasts longer and I don't really like it going soggy. So I'm going to have a little bit of this with one of these Greek style yogurts. This is from Aldi as well. They come in a four pack. They're really, really, really nice. Then I'm going to cut up a few strawberries. These look so yummy. And then I'm also going to cut up one of these peaches. I haven't had peaches in ages. And I always find around April, May time, they're really, really nice. Aww. I don't know why this made me a little bit sad. Why am I getting emotional over a peach? I don't know why. The little leaves are just so cute. Okay, I can confirm these peaches are so nice. They remind me of holiday peaches. Does anyone else go abroad and buy like the big nectarines and peaches? Oh my god, they're so nice. They taste like Spain peaches. Also just noticed these are so out of date. Um, but with peaches or nectarines and stuff, I always find they take so much longer to ripen. So yeah, I never use them by their best before date. I mean, that one maybe looks a little bit, a little bit not okay but this one was just delightful. So on top of my breakfast, I've also just added a little bit of this desiccated coconut. I use this on oats, on cereal. I find it just makes it a little bit sweeter and I love coconut. So anything I can put coconut on, I'ma put it on. Oh my God, I forgot 
that this car smells like heaven. So, the other day, I, again, was doing some late night purchasing on the internet. I don't know why I do this. Like, when I'm really sleepy, I, like, think of things that I really don't need. So, I bought some of these car cologne colognes and basically they're like little air fresheners i've got one here i don't know if you can see it um but they are perfume dupes so i got a black opium one and i also got an alien one and honestly my car smells incredible i also got sophie an alien one as well because that's her favorite scent right we are off to morrison's i actually found this playlist on spotify the other day that's called i think throwback bangers and it's really really good you know when you put songs on they just bring back all the memories that's what this playlist does like i listen to it and i'm like yeah so let's find it where are you it is called throwback bangers flame emoji flame emoji flame emoji well i don't know what this is Okay, here's a little throwback for you. Who remembers when this song came out? I feel like everyone went wild for this. Working hard my life. Pitbull, Naya, Neo. Tonight. Whoa, whoa. Is Dappy still in prison? I'm sure Dappy went to prison. I feel like he's out. Who knows? Let's go to Morrison's. <clears throat> <clears throat> my voice has gone off Phil Mitchell. This always happens. Right, safety first, kids. Pop me phone over here. Put me keys on there. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It still wasn't me. Nope, weren't me. Oh, I love this song. You're amazing. Just the way you are. Yeah. Oh. Bruno, if you are listening, watching, I will collab with you because I feel like I've got <laughs> a decent singing voice. I have a terrible singing voice. Like I forever wish that I could sing. I feel like if I could wish for one thing, it would be to sing. I just think it would be incredible. I love listening to people sing. I just think it's amazing. Like how can people sing, but some people can't? Like what's that based on? Do you know what I mean? Like can you become a singer like could i go to singing lessons and become a singer hmm. this is where i get on the internet and book myself some singing lessons everyone we have arrived arrived wow i am alive but we have arrived at mozza's um what's this guy doing is he going across the zebra crossing no i used to really enjoy food shopping and now i i do not enjoy it very much great bit of parking if i do say so myself right i am going to going to morrison's and then i'll be back oh it is hot out here today I'm back let me turn that off because that's going to be very loud on the old vlog it was actually quite a pleasant experience today it wasn't too busy it was actually quite nice so i found in morrison's one of these this was in the little free from section so it's dairy <clears throat> phil if you could just not dairy free coconut milk based cappuccino which i'm very very excited about love an extendable straw mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. I just need to take a moment to be thankful for this. Coconut cappuccino, thank you Starbucks. Just checking out the old ingredients because I find drinks like this sometimes have E numbers in and I have like a phobia of E numbers. Honestly, I'm so weird. I don't eat or drink anything with E numbers in. I don't know why. I just, I think my mum made me this way. When I was younger, she always used to be like, check the back for E numbers because she didn't like them either. So I think now I am my mum basically. And I'm like, E numbers, but there isn't any in this. This is actually so nice. I nearly finished it already, but that is so nice. 
So I also picked up some new car sweets. Does anyone else have like mints and sweets in their car? I love to keep some in the middle of my car. So Morrison's do the sugar-free butterscotch, butterscotch, butterscotch sweets. And then I also got these rhubarb and custard ones as well. Then got Old Faithful Tree War Mints and just some gum. So I'm fully stocked up. My dashboard is lying because it's saying that it's currently 16 degrees and it is at least 26 degrees out there today. Like it is hot. I swear to God, like in England, we cannot cope when it's hot weather. Well, I say we, just speaking for the entire country, I can't cope when it's really, really hot. I think I'm a cold kind of gal. You know, there's some people that are like, I am born for a hot country. I am not. I am born for like Iceland. I like the cold weather. And that's such an unpopular opinion. And it saddens me that not many people can relate to that. There are very few people I've met in my lifetime that prefer autumn, winter to spring, summer. You know that we love you. I don't even know if that's the word. Cause I love the way you lie the way someone lies like some of these songs are just very unrelatable because i don't love the way anyone lies ever oh my god his beard was so long wow it was like actually flowing in the wind mm, this much this much oh michael forget Michael Bublé exists until like October well October who on earth am I kidding until like September when I start playing the Christmas songs I just haven't met you yet have a real good time we're gonna have a real good time where late night shopping on a Thursday oh I can hear the ice cream man can you hear it oh I love the ice cream man that literally brings me so much joy. Anyway, I have just got home. Sorry for the abrupt ending. Um, it was probably quite good it ended because my singing probably deafened you all. Um, but my camera died in the car. So I've just popped it on charge, just displayed all of my food shopping out so we could do a little food shopping haul. And actually, before we even do that, I have just got home to the most, <laughs> just let me show you. So I've just got home to an actual box of heaven. I'm just so incredibly happy about how amazing does everything look. So this is from a local company called Cakes by Laurel. This is a treat box, which as far as I'm aware is available each week. I'll leave a link to Laurel's website um, below and I'll pop the Instagram handle somewhere on screen now. But how incredible. I feel like this would be such an amazing gift to order for a loved one. I know Laurel delivers every single Friday to the local areas. Uh, in this week's treat box, we have got a Biscoff Blondie. I feel like this is what I'm most excited to eat. And then, that's a complete lie. I'm excited to eat everything. And then over here we've got a double decker brownie. Oh my gosh. And then a Jammy Dodger cupcake. I haven't had Jammy Dodgers in absolute years. Then we've got a Funfetti cookie. I think that's got white chocolate in it as well. And then I need to get this bad boy out because I feel like we need to see the insides, you know? Okay, so this little guy is a Malteser Rocky Road. Wow. And then last but definitely not least, we have got a chocolate flapjack. But yeah, thank you so much, Laurel. I will enjoy these. So with my food shopping, I've got a bit of a system going on right now, a bit of a rotation. So. One week I'll go Aldi and then one week I will go Morrison's purely because I love Aldi for like my main things but I like to get some branded bits as well. Um, so I like to alternate between the two and it, you know, makes my weeks a little bit more fun. Like which shops it going to be this week? So this week it was Morrison's. Um, I'm going to show you what I got because I got some really nice little bits. I got some dairy-free cheese. I have never, ever, ever tried this. And as you guys know, I do like to try and steer away from dairy and gluten. I mean, I'll have it sometimes, but I like the majority of my diet to be gluten and dairy-free. So I got this cheese. I'm going to give it a go. And then I got backup cheese just in case it's horrible. So I got some of this mozzarella. I love to have this on jacket potatoes with tuna. That's one of my 
favourite dinners. Um, I seem to talk a million miles per hour whenever I do food hauls, just because I don't want to try not to ramble. So then, I find Morrison's has the most incredible free from range. Like, they offer so much, like, gluten and dairy free products. Um, probably the best one I've seen, actually. So, I also picked up some of this deliciously Ella granola. This is raisins, coconut, and cinnamon. I just thought that looked really, really lovely. And then I also picked up my absolute fave cereal in the whole world. It's either this or the apricot one from Special K. So nice. You can often find these in Aldi as well. So I also picked up some of these little street food um, spice packs, which I thought would be really nice on chicken. Actually, they've got it on prawns, which look really nice. A really fancy a prawn. So I got Korean barbecue, Caribbean jerk, and then Mexican. I also got some herby potatoes, which I'm actually going to have with salmon, I think, this week probably. Well, it's going to have to be this week, because they're going to cut off date. And then I picked up some stir-fry bits. Morrison's is my favourite place to get stir-fry bits. Aldi do a good selection, but I like Morrison's purely because they have the protein noodles. Um, and I prefer to get these to normal noodles. So I think this week I'm going to have a Chinese stir fry with noodles and sweet and sour with some chicken. I got this huge pack of chicken, which was £10. I also got some salmon fillets. Morrison's do three for £10, which is really good. Stocked up on some Nando sauce. I got the mild peri peri and then the lemon and herb. My favourite one is mango and lime, but they didn't actually have any. Then I also picked up some tuna in brine because i've been having jack of potatoes and tuna all the time i love it so much then i've spoken about these a few times on my vlogs but if you're trying to be healthy at the moment and you're looking for like a chocolate alternative these are just incredible they taste like they should be so bad for you but they're actually fine they've got 100 calories in per little pot and they're so rich that you literally don't need more than one pot. I also like to have these to dip strawberries into. But yeah, really lovely little dessert. New favourite of mine is these lactose-free strawberry Greek yogurts from Morrison's. Really, really, really nice. Then I picked up some pistachio nuts. Love pistachio nuts. I actually bought this the other week. And oh my god, the nicest little snack Ever. I mean, I know dried fruit has a lot of sugar in it, but it's better than eating sweets, right? So nice. Got some cashew nuts. Also got some of these to try, which are hummus chips. I thought they looked really, really nice. Sea salt flavour. Love anything to do with hummus, so I thought I'm going to love these. Then I got some strawberries, some other kind of fresh bits, and some ginger to make my lemon and ginger tonic. Then I'm actually going to be making some cookies from a deliciously Ella recipe this afternoon and basically they have no flour, no egg, no dairy, no gluten, they are literally just dates, ground almonds and a few other ingredients. And then over and then over here I also just picked up some new flannels because I don't know where mine go, they just disappear and some tea towels because I am running low. So it's now almost 1 p.m. which means time to eat again. It's lunchtime and I popped to m and the other day and got some really lovely bits which I've been just so looking forward to eating. So for lunch I'm going to have one of these pitters. These are the wholemeal seeded pitters and they're like really really big and thick and just delicious. And then I actually stuffed the pitta with this Italian mozzarella because this is in like a almost like a pesto marinade. Oh my god. It's amazing. So I stuff the mozzarella in, I squash it so it like melts and spreads around the pitta. And then I cut it in half. And then on top of the pitta, I spread some of the velvet hummus from M&S. Nicest lunch ever. It tastes like a pesto-y, mozzarella-y flatbread with hummus. Probably tastes like that because that's exactly what it is. So the plan for now is I am going to make these cookies. I discovered this recipe um, a few days ago and I thought these look amazing. So they're vegan, they're dairy free, they're gluten free and they only have five ingredients. These are the ingredients that you'll need here. Um, I'll link this recipe in the description below as well. Now the only problem is I don't actually have a food processor. So I'm going to try and use a blender. 
Okay, first things first, we need to preheat the oven to 180. 180. Oh, no. <gasps> I fully hate myself. I just found my dinner from two nights ago in the oven. I purposely saved this to have this for lunch and completely forgot about it. So I'm really sad about that now, but it's also making me feel a bit sick. So let's pop it over there. Pretend that never happened. First things first, we need 180 ground almonds. It's really annoying because one pack has 150, so I had to buy two packs of 150 just for the 30 grams. I'm making no sense. Anyway, 180 grams of ground almonds. Okay, next we need 12 dates. Um, I got these ones from Morrison's, they need to be pitted. So if you buy these, make sure that they don't have the stones in because that'll be super annoying. There's actually nothing worse than de-stoning a date. My mum makes me do it at Christmas sometimes and yeah, I'm not a fan of that. So you need 12 of these. I'm guessing the dates are what make the cookies like really toffee-y, I'm guessing. So it says you need 12 of these, but they're not the giant ones, so I'm going to put a few more in than 12, you know, because I feel like 12 isn't going to be enough. Then you also need three tablespoons of almond meal. I'm actually going to add this to the dates um, because I'm going to obviously blend it. So I feel like a little bit of liquid will probably help the whole blending situ. And, and then you also need a tablespoon of chia seeds. I just got these from Morrison's. You can pretty much get these wherever. Right, let's get blending. Wish me luck. I really do hope this works. Okay. I don't think it's meant to sound like that. Oh my god. I think this is the point where my blender breaks. I mean, it seems to be chopping them up, but it smells funny. Okay, oh god, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more almond milk. Um, okay, right, I'm adding a bit more almond milk. I think I don't know if this is against the rules, but I'm gonna test it for you guys just in case you don't have a food processor, then you know if you're doing it with a blender, add a little bit more milk. Better. Okay, I'm gonna add this to the dry ingredients now. Yay, I think it's worked. So if you have a food processor, you're meant to just blitz everything together. Okay, I'm gonna mix this all together. So this is meant to resemble like a cookie dough kind of mixture. Oh, yay, it's gone like cookie dough. Oh, I'm so happy. I was really worried that it just wasn't gonna work. So a blender definitely works, but just make sure you only add the dates and um, some almond milk. So to your cookies, you can either add chocolate chips or raisins. I'm gonna go for raisins today, um, mainly because Morrison's didn't have any chocolate chips, but I thought raisins would be really nice, so these will be super fruity. I think these are gonna kind of turn out like, you know the little protein energy balls you get that are like really, really, really sticky? I think these are gonna turn out like those. So with the raisins, I am just gonna add, wow, these are huge. Oh, they are giant raisins, that's why. So, as you can see, this really does look like cookie mixture. I'm really intrigued to see what this tastes like. Oh my god. You know what this tastes like? Those naked bars. Mm. Oh my god, that's so yummy. One more little bit. Yum! So now the mixture's all ready, I'm gonna spray my new cookie tin, so happy with this, um, with the coconut fry light. I use this so much, like all the time, whenever I cook cookies or cakes. I feel like the best way to kind of make the cookies, I did the same with the peanut butter cookies, is actually take a little bit of the mixture and roll it in your hands into a cookie kind of ball, um, and then squish them down, because I find with the spoon they just never go really, really round. Um, which is another perk actually to having short nails. So this mixture should make about 12. So I'm gonna roll them up into balls, 
pop them on here, push them down, and then they're gonna go in the oven for, I think it said, 15 to 20 minutes. This mixture is honestly just so sweet, so gooey, but it's also good for you. Like it's only got natural ingredients in, which I really, really love. I don't like using flour or sugar, stuff like that. I like to eat something that I know is good for my body. So yeah, I'm very excited to see how these turn out. I'm looking out from my window. Sun's coming up like the day before. You're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. So here they are all ready to go in the oven. Now I've only made nine purely because I feel like I ate like two cookies worth of mixture. So I've just made these two a little bit bigger and just made nine. If you didn't eat the mixture like me, you could probably make 12, but it was just so good, I couldn't stop eating it. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes, but for you guys, it's gonna be about two seconds. So in three, two, one. Oh my God, they look so yummy. So I only actually had these in the oven for about 12 minutes because they started to look a little bit crispy and didn't really fancy them being singed. So yeah, just keep an eye on them. I find cookies are one of those where they literally go from zero to 100 real quick. Right, let me set you up for the taste test. Oh my God. Wow, look how gooey these are in the middle. I'm actually in shock how amazing these taste. They kind of taste a bit like, you know, like an oat and raisin cookie. It's nutty, they taste fruity. They taste like toffee as well because of the dates. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. Please, 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 I feel like I'm dribbling. Tag me in your stories if you make these. Like, let me know if you make these because these are the best cookies yet. These are better than the peanut butter ones. Oh my God, they are incredible. Mmm. alone with my cookie good evening everyone so a little bit of a um transformation going on here wow um i have just got out of the shower i've been scrubbing at my skin hence why it's a little bit pink um i've been trying to get my tan off because i just really feel like a few days with no tan um i just want to let my skin breathe and then start the tanning process Again, there's actually nothing better than when you have a real blank canvas for fake tan, as weird as that sounds. But when you've kind of let your skin breathe for a few days, had multiple baths, exfoliated multiple times, put moisturizer on, I find tan just goes so much nicer. Um, so for the next few days, I am Casper, the friendly ghost. So tonight for dinner, I am making a homemade Nando's. Um, um, yeah, no. <laughs> can't speak i am making a homemade nando's i love nando's so much i know it's so basic and i have been craving it so much before lockdown me and my friend elise had a little system going on where we would get a takeaway nando's every single friday night and it was the highlight of my entire week and i miss it dearly so i thought today i could show you guys my homemade nando's peri peri chicken halloumi of course spicy rice and macho peas yummy i can't wait um i was gonna recreate the peri peri hummus and pita but i decided i didn't need that much food so maybe another day i can do maybe everyone's favorites like what is your go-to nando's order and then i'll have a look through the comments and I shall create another Nando's dinner if you guys enjoy this. So what I'm going to be using is two chicken breasts. These ones have been frozen and then defrosted from this morning. Um, I usually buy like a big pack of chicken and then divide it into two breasts and then pop it into the freezer. So what I'm going to do, because I'm going to be cooking the chicken and the rice together, I'm going to do two breasts of chicken and two portions of rice so I can have rice 
and chicken tomorrow for lunch. Then this is the Nando's marinade I'm gonna use. So what I'll do is pop two chicken breasts into a like oven tray with some of the sauce on and I'll put tin foil over the top so it stops it going all dry. And I'll cook that for about 25 minutes. Um, and then what I'll do in a separate pan is I will boil some of this long grain rice. This is just from Aldi. I'm just gonna do one bag of this. One bag is actually two portions. So I'll boil that first. And then after the chicken's been in the oven for about 25 minutes, I'll then add the rice to the chicken and cook it again for about another 30 minutes. The kind of sauce from the marinade and I hate this word, but the chicken juice it goes into the rice and just makes it really, really yummy. Then I'm gonna be grilling some halloumi. I'll do this on my George Foreman grill. The best way to do halloumi, like honestly, it's so nice. It's like crispy on the outside and soft in the middle. It's delicious. And then for the macho peas, I've just got some frozen peas here, which I'll just leave to defrost for about half an hour. If you pop some water in these, they defrost a lot quicker as well. And then I'm gonna use the juice from one lemon, one chopped up red chili in really, really fine bits, some coriander, and I've also got some fresh mint here from Dad's Allotment. It smells so much stronger than shop-bought mints. I wanna go to like a fresh fruit and veg shop. You know, the ones with all the different fruits and stuff. I really wanna go there. We can spend our day in there. I'll put the TV in the room. We'll have a Netflix marathon, KG saxophone. We'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put your favorite music on all the way, baritone. Yeah. So, chicken update is currently getting absolutely scalded by the steam. So when getting these out of the freezer, I thought there was just two in the pack, but there was actually three um, because they're in tin foil. So you may as well just guess what I'm getting out of the freezer. But if you want to cook these in like bulk, you can keep them in the fridge for like lunches and stuff. So they'll keep for a few days. I've also just boiled my rice and left it a few minutes and it's kind of resembling a bit of a brick. Um, but I'm going to pour this into here and then pop it back in the oven for about half an hour. Ouch, you well, well. That is hot. <gasps> so, little update. The chicken is pretty much done. So once that is basically cooked, I've just cooked the peas and just drained them in here. And then I've also got the halloumi on the go as well. Um, if you don't have a George Foreman, you can like use a frying pan, but this was like 30 pounds and it was one of the best investments ever, purely just to cook halloumi on. Um, I find halloumi goes so nice in this grill. So I usually leave this to cook in here for about, probably about 10 minutes until like each slice is char grilled. And then to the peas, to make them like the Nando's macho peas, I usually just squash them. So I squash all of these just with a fork against the side and then I will, <coughs> choking from the George Forber grill. Then I'll add the juice of one lemon, the mint, the chili and the coriander. Okay, I think it's time for the extract to go on. And then I'll add some pepper and some salt as well. We can spend our day in bed. I get the wine and the corkscrew. You don't have to do one single thing. You don't know how much I want Hello everyone, feel like Mrs. Doubtfire or something right about now. So, I am in bed at 8pm, I'm very, very happy about it, although something that does kind of bother me about getting in bed early is I have to trap the light out. I need to get some kind of blackout situation here. Um, as much as I love the longer evenings, I feel like the daylight is judging me for being in bed at 8pm. And to be honest, really not much else to do at 8 p.m. So I find myself in bed literally some nights about 7 p.m. Well, I'm getting absolutely sick of Canon not focusing on my face. I actually ordered a new camera yesterday, which should be coming tomorrow. Um, I finally bit the bullet and got myself a new camera. So my video quality 
we'll be going up about 100 levels soon so i'm excited for that anyway i have got my snacks i've got some popcorn now this isn't my favorite but it was the only one left in the drawer um i'm more of a sweet and salty kind of gal but tonight we're gonna have coconut and vanilla like i said not my fave but it will do i also have some pistachio nuts i am obsessed with pistachio nuts at the moment i have to buy these little packs because if i buy a big packet of pistachio nuts i'll just eat them all they're one of those things that once you pop you can't stop so i have to buy the little snack packs to stop myself eating an entire packet and then i also have a grenade carb killer bar this is the birthday cake one if you haven't why am i shaking whoa <laughs> if you haven't tried this one it's amazing like it doesn't taste like protein at all. It just tastes like a really sweet, yummy dessert. I'm also going to start watching normal people tonight. I feel really, really late to the party with this. I feel like everyone in the whole world has watched it but me. Every time I listen to the radio, every time I go on Instagram, I see so many people having this private conversation about normal people and I don't know what they're talking about. So... I really, really just want to get into that. Hello, my loves. That is my plan for this evening. I just wanted to come on and say thank you so much for watching this vlog. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say. Anyway, love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're all having a lovely week and I'll catch up with you on Sunday. Bye. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you are.